Hello everyone, welcome to this video which is about the exciting GX3P that's just been released as part of the wider Phantom EX hardware release. It's fantastic, it's free of charge for anyone who's bought the upgrade and also pre-installed for people who buy the hardware Phantom EX. Uh, this video is going to do a few things. First of all, it's going to show you how to install the, um, the GX3P expansion. Um, onto your EX upgraded Phantom. Uh, then we'll have a look at the screens and show how you interact with it. Then um, we'll walk through the presets. And then finally, I'll show you just a, a, a preset that I've tweaked and added Zencore sounds. I'll maybe add a bit of Gaia 2 as well, just to show you musically how you can build upon just what you hear as a preset. First things first, then let us um, install the, the model expansion onto your Phantom. First of all, you've got to download the parts from Roland Cloud, and there's two files that you want to put there, ignore the README, and the two files you put at root level on your USB stick and then put it into your Phantom. You then go to your Phantom and you hold down the tempo button whilst powering up. Now, unlike when you're upgrading an OS, uh, quickly digs into the OS um, routine, um, the tempo function for going to the expansion screen needs the Phantom to fully boot up. So still, it's a lot less than some competitive offerings, which can be nearly four minutes to boot up. Imagine. I like when the line comes up because yeah, we're just about to go straight there. <laughs> there we go. And there is the expansion screen. What we're looking at just now is all the ABMs, the, the models, um, the analog behavior models. Um, we can see that I've used 71%. I don't have everything installed, but I've got a fair few. Yeah. Then up here we've got the V piano and then Here's the ACB, which you want to press to then go and see what you've got installed in ACB. But also, if you want to install the GX3P, you press the install button, you select, if there's more than one, you select the GX3P EXZ, press install, and then it will go through a quick routine, tell you it's going to be 45 seconds, and then you um, just accept, and then there you go. Uh, once it's finished, you just... Um, switch off and then you power up again so it really is very very simple so it's, it's just a case of starting up in the right mode pressing the ACB tab press install select the GX3P EXZ and then press install again and it, it is less than a minute and then you um, just power up and then you've got the GX3P installed, which is fantastic. And we are nearly done. Hey ho, there we go. So I'm just going to go to um, here one, the GX3P that I've already kind of had a look at. And there we are. So when that is already there but you know by selecting here in zone one remember it's only zone one that has the acbs you won't it won't find it available so select acb if you've got jp8 you'll have jp8 if you have sh 101 it'll be there but then now we've got jx3 p uh, so now what i'll do is i'll just cycle through the presets this 30 odd is it 32 i can't remember um, something around that. So I'll just do some ditties just to give you an idea. There are no effects um, and there are no other sounds. This is just dry GX3P. It's a bit loud. Apologies.
So there you have it. Those are the 32 sounds. They sound great. There's a, a lovely character. Um, it's clearly digital character, but it, uh, I, I really like it. I'm hearing lots of interesting things with a lot of those presets. And that's what kind of the next exercise is, is, you know, actually, well, you know, editing the sounds and putting it into your own musical context. So I thought what would be quite good is to actually just have a look and see what the tone screens look like and as ever the Roland have done a fantastic job about making the interface appealing and clear and very easy to interact with you know if you want to change 
the range, it's dead easy. You can also use these to navigate along and move on, but you can also um, use your finger to select and change the, the values, which is brilliant. So anyway, we're looking at the LFOs and the DCOs, so the, the three oscillators that we have there, then the filter and the amps, uh, and then we've got the envelopes uh, on the bottom, there's two envelopes and then they have the effects which came as part of the original gx3p as i understand it and then we have common and a couple of things um first of all condition we've got condition and circuit mod which is roland's addition to the these um, acb recreations to um, emulate aging and conditioning of something that's older and then something I was really excited to see because it's it's like the well the system eight came after GX3P of course but what we've got is we've got two velocity sensitives sensitivities sorry now that that's really great for adjusting playability you've got to um, find your own sweet spot I've done a video about that on the system eight um, but I was really excited I I haven't had the original gear so this is entirely new territory to me. But i um, very excited to see that because, like I say, it's an extra layer of musical expression that you can add to your performance. And talking of performance, let's go back to where we were um, because what I'd like to do is now switch some things on. Um, if I switch that off and I put reverb. So now I took a sound. It was the Brass 2 sound that I played earlier. And I tweaked it. I put the sensitivities onto it. I changed the envelope a little bit, and I, I edited the LFO to be a little bit more natural for brass to sound in. And what I'm going to do? So let me just play that. What it sounds like dry first of all. <laughs> Love that sound. It's brilliant. Now, if we then put some reverb on course this is a sensitive topic because some people will say oh you're drowning it other people say it's not enough um i'm hopefully going somewhere in the middle <laughs> oh oh and switching off um here's a couple of background sounds on the choir on strings the zen core going to hear that in the background so let's then see what it sounds like all together isn't that amazing sound and uh, you know I put it into the musical context and what I've got uh, to my left, it's off camera, but I've got a Gaia 2 with a lovely pad that uh, is just a preset pad on it. But um, just the combination, I, I really love it. And so I'm going to be spending a few more hours um, <laughs> working on this. But huge <laughs> and so yes um all of this is just magical and gx3p is like it's like getting another paintbrush and another palette to that you can do something else with your music that just it, it's uh, you find inspiration in all sorts of different ways and places and sounds and this is another place that we can get lost in the gx3p and everything that can be done i'm still exploring it but I hope that this video um, is helpful for in the practicalities of getting it installed, what it looks like, what you can do with it, but then also how you can elevate it even further as part of what the flat pa Phantom platform can do. And also um, when you add other uh, bits of gear in too. Um, 
splendid stuff. I hope you enjoy your GX3P and um, of course if you have any comments or questions I'd be glad to read them and help where I can. All the very best to you. Cheers.